A Grin from Ear to Ear by T. Penny Watson. Koro was holding his matire tightly as he braced his feet against the side of the boat and re. At last he hauled a tamure into our boat. Ka pai koro, that's a nice penny, I said. Koro always calls tamure this size pennies because they fit nicely into pan at home. As I watched him lift the tamure off the hook, I felt a massive tug on my own line. I nearly fell over. My matire bent almost double and the line then started peeling off the reel. I held on for dear life. Koro smiled. Your turn, Moko. Kia kaha. When the pull on the line eased off a little, I lifted the matire slowly as, as Koro has taught me. Ka pai tēnā. E moko, gently does it. There was nothing gentle about the fish. It immediately took off again, stripping more line from my reel. The ba- battle was on again. This reminds me of a massive tamure I caught when I was your age, said Koro. But I wasn't listening. I had the fish of a lifetime on the end of my line, my line, and all I could think about was winning that battle. Soon my arms were aching. Sweat was trickling into my eyes so that I could hardly see. But I wasn't about to give up. After a ten-minute tug of war, the biggest tamari I've ever seen rose up from the depths below. Koro had the net ready and scooped it into the boat. I started jumping up and down, throwing my, throwing my clenched fists into the air. Kia tu pato, e moko, said Koro. We'll be swimming soon if you keep that up. I stopped jumping as Koro gently laid the net on the deck. It's dinner for the whole whanau tonight, I said proudly. Tiki na te kamera e moko, kia tere. I fished the camera out of my bag. When I turned around, Koro was tenderly removing the hook from the fish's mouth. Anae moko, he said as he handed the tamure to me. It was so heavy and slippery, I could hardly hold it. But I still managed a grin from ear to ear as he took the photos. Ka nui tēnā, e moko, said Koro. It's time to let it go now. Carl! I could hardly believe my ears. This is the biggest fish I've ever caught. It'll feed the whole fauna. Koro looked at me sternly. E moko, this tamure is like a big plum tree. I stared at Koro. What do you mean? The older a plum tree gets, the more fruit it gives us. Thus. It's the same with this fish. If you let it go now, it'll provide lots more tamure for you to catch, you and your mokopuna. And you'll still have your story to tell. I shook my head. No one will, no one will believe me. Koro smiled and held up the camera. My head drooped as I looked at the massive tamure. As it swam away from our boat, I remembered what Koro had said. What's the biggest fish you ever caught? 
I asked him. When I was your age, I caught a massive tamure one day with my koro. It was almost as big as this one. What happened? I asked, but I knew the answer. E moko, pass the bait, koro said. The whanau will be expecting fresh fillets for tea tonight.